Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Well, look like Facebook done fixed it, fam. Man, all right, I'm glad. So, man, I got a story for y'all this morning. Oh, man. So, I'm getting ready for, I'm getting ready for, uh, I didn't do my, uh, my broadcast yesterday. Um, the, far as, you know, the, I have, I have pledged to do, um, uh, uh, the Daily Toast for at least this year. Um, what's up, Brother Hassan? I hope you're staying out of trouble, young man. Everything going good? Um, great day to you, by the way. Great emoji. Um, so, I have, I have pledged to at least do this for a whole year. I mean, I, maybe longer. I don't know. But uh, I think it's important to get up and toast the ancestors every day. But I got a story for y'all. Um, I think Brother Kwame is coming, so I'll wait for him a little bit. Uh, but today's show, I didn't do yesterday's. I didn't do it yesterday. Cool. Um, uh, what school you at? What school you going to? Um, well, I mean, like you, you know what school I'm at. Come see me. All right, I want to see you. I want to put my eyes on you. I want to make sure you all right. All right, because I ain't seen you in a while. I want to, I want to check you out. All right, make sure you all right. All right. So, um, the one thing that, so I'm gonna do the toast. But what I'm gonna start doing, far as the broadcast on a daily basis with the YouTube. I think I might start cutting a little bit and once again cut it down. I'm still working on it because part of um, um, my financial steps is one, learning to categorize things and put them put them in order. Because when we talk when we talk about finances, we're not just talking about money. Time is a very vi valuable commodity, right? All of us need to start learning to take care of our time. All of us need to start learning how to do and to be and as a matter of fact that's going to be um, what we talk about today on YouTube the difference between what I'm calling it um, doing versus being right because because we're in um, an alien society right um, because this is not our society you know people get mad about me saying it this is not our society this is not our culture all right, um, and because we're in an alien culture, right? Um, some of the things that we have picked up are not the healthiest for us. So we need to get back to some of the things, or we need to move forward rather than get back. We need to move forward to the things that we need. We need to do that same kofa, you know what I'm saying? Go back and fetch what we need so that we could do what we need to do in the future, right? Because sometimes it's not good to go back either. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure we are in the process of building, right? Because we might need something new. But if we don't need nothing new, we need to kick it. All right, let me go and thumbs up my little brother. Thank you for coming through, Mr. Hassan. But for those people who are new, every morning we get up, we toast our ancestors. We are exactly seven days from the... Uh, the uh the the great uh what is it the great eclipse right so i won't you know i'm going out and i'm gonna try to see it i'm not gonna drive to the little area where it's gonna go across the country because i gotta get back i gotta do some stuff but i will be fasting on um i'll be uh, the fast will be starting soon um so we're gonna jump it off Hmm. Yeah, the fast will be starting soon. So it's just a matter. When I know I will be fasting on the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Now, what I don't know is if I'm going to start a little bit earlier. I might start a little bit earlier because I need to lose some of this belly. Because y'all seeing I went from super slim to, you know, I'm kind of chubby right now. Um, But, uh, let us do our water 
So right now I'm coming from African Folk Tales and the story I want to share with you is a is it's gonna fit right in. Well, I'm gonna actually say this. This is gonna fit in with being and doing. All right. Um, we have both of them in our culture, but the problem is when one overtakes the other. This fits into um, the concept of polarity, right? Uh, or better yet, gender, masculine, feminine. Um, polarity, gender, I mean, because I, I, I'm kind of, gender is masculine and feminine, and I have been hard-pressed for a long time to kind of figure out the difference between masculine and feminine and, you know, the gender and, and the polarity piece, you know what I'm saying? I think gender got something to do with being able to produce, but I don't, I haven't totally figured that out yet, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But um, being and doing are um, uh, opposites in a sense. They are in a sense the same. It's sort of like uh, having water, right? You got water. I got water, right? Water sits right in the middle. On this end of the water, I have ice cold water, not quite ice. And on this end, I got boiling water. Although they're both waters, as far as vibration, they're different. So being and doing are like hot water, cold water, right? Same essence, you know, same substance, different vibration. One is good for one thing, the other, but you know what I'm saying? Both of them can harm you, right? Too much of one is not good. When you bring them to the middle... You got something that you could pour libations with. You got something that you could drink, right? So, let's get right into it. Of course, y'all know we got to drink water. And uh, some of y'all may notice, man, I am able to... Actually, the lens is wide. I got my shirt over here. Lord have mercy. Y'all see the mess on the table? Good grief. All right. So now we're doing a wide angle, right? So I don't know what happened with uh, Facebook this morning, but somehow I'm able to tape the way I used to tape, and I'm so grateful. So now, here we go. Um, we lift up our glass. All right? Drink your water. Let's see who out there. Alright. So now, what I'm figuring out is that with the invite friends, I could click that and start pushing. Out, but I'm not waking nobody up at no 4 o'clock in the morning. Look at it. It's giving, me, uh, it's giving me people to invite. I'm not, I'm not waking nobody up at 4 o'clock in the morning. They could catch it when they wake up. You know, I you know I try to do thirty-two. All right. All right. Crush down your bottles when you get opportunity. Family face and face in your trash can. Took me a while to figure that out. And now that I got it, I got it. All right, so let's do this. Drink my last one. Mm. Now we're gonna do a healthy drink. So I don't have no ambrosia. So just demonstrate, right? I don't got no ambrosia. What? Well, I have a little bit of ambrosia, but I'm not going to use ambrosia today because I want to show y'all something. Right now, what I'm drinking, this is Death Eater Tea, right? This is Dandelion and Burdock Root, right? And 
cinnamon. All right. Just to show you, I don't. You don't have to always have the ambrosia. You can have different types of drinks, but long as they're healthy, right? This one don't have no sugar added. I brewed this yesterday because I knew I was out. But this is just a good tea. Actually, cinnamon, man, you'd be surprised how good cinnamon is by itself. All right? Now, um, also, fam, I put up uh, a page for the Google Starbucks Challenge for those who are interested in taking the challenge. Right, I know it's not for everybody, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I want to help those that I can help. Right, so get up on the page, like the page, read about the Ngusa Cyber Challenge. If you want to take it, take it. It don't cost. It costs absolutely nothing. You get access to um, some of my free books and stuff like that. And if you are interested and you want to get something, you can get something. All right, now, so. We're going to toast our ancestors. We're lifting up our glass to the Creator by whatever name you choose. Call that Creator. We'll lift up this glass and we say, Ashe. Hopefully, you're lifting up your glass. If not physically, at least mentally. We're lifting up that glass to, to send shots out to the Creator, whether it's, it's a he, she, or a it for you, whatever, right? We want to salute the Creator of all the stuff that we have right now that, that's presently in our lives, right? We want to lift up our glass and we want to remember those ancestors. We want to remember that creator. Next, we move to our personal ancestors. We move to our mothers and our fathers, our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our aunts and our uncles, our friends and our cousins, our nieces and our nephews. We want to cover all those people, all those important people in our life that helped us become who we are. We want to lift up our glass and we want to toast them. We want to salute them. We want to remember them. We want to send our energy to them so that they can send their energy to us. We want to remember those people who made it possible for us to become us. Now, I want to, man, I want to throw this caveat out, right? It's beautiful that we salute our ancestors, our family. Make sure you send those people in your life right now that's alive. Touches as well. Now, um, when I say touches, I went through a workshop this weekend and we talked about the river of touches, right? Right now, we're reaching out, we're touching our ancestors, right? Because, I'm going to get into that in, in the next video, but, you know, we're reaching out, we're touching our ancestors, and we're saluting them, and we remember them, and we're sending them energy, right? But also touch those people that are present in your life now, right? With positive words, with strong, with touch them with love, right? It was don't always mean you got to reach out and, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can say some positive stuff. Out of your mouth to them, all right? So we lift up our glass. And remember those, remember those ancestors, right? We remember those loved ones in our lives, and we toast them. I'm gonna say mine. You can say your family line if you have family that you want to that that you want me to salute while I'm doing the toast here. Right now, you can post them up. If not, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna toast mine. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texas, Anna Davis, Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson. Uh, Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, my Aunt Katie Ellis, my, aunt, my Uncle Wash Jr. Ellis, uh, my Grand Uncle Herman Brown II. My Aunt Barbara Twiggs. My cousin Nikki. Wow. It's incredible. Oh my God. All this time. I'm sorry. My cousin Nikki. Oh man. Shouts out, baby. Um. Wow. John Fillar. Jeremiah Tappan. Jamon Jones, Montague Pittman L, Tony Clark, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, T 
Terrell Dunbar. Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, um, Elder Millie Dixon. Tony Clark, Elder Mark Wash, we lift our glass and we say Ashe, and then we move to the present moment because our power is in the moment, um, as a matter of fact. I wanted to read a verse from a man from the Emperor's Handbook, Marcus Aurelius. I know y'all like, why are you reading Marcus Aurelius this earlier? This is about the now. When you live 3,000 years, or even 30,000, remember that a man can lose only the life he is living, and he can live no other life than the one he loses. Whether he lives a long time or a short time amounts to the same thing, for the present moment is of equal duration for everyone, and that is all any man possesses. This is why the loss of life seems so momentary. A man cannot lose the past or the future. How can he be robbed of what is not his? Remember then, these two truths first that everything from the beginning is just the same pattern repeating itself and it makes no difference whether you watch this same show for 100 years or for 200 or for all eternity and second that the man who dies young loses not a jot more than a man who dies old a man can only be depri deprived of the present moment for this is all he has and how can a man lose what he doesn't possess? Question, fam. Good point. Now, I don't agree with all the points that he's making here. Because his existence is about doing, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's partial, right? Everything happens up here. We're going to talk about that a little bit today. But I thought that was very appropriate for talking about the moment because when we toast the moment we're toasting where our true power lies right this moment right here is all that you have and i hope that you're doing something positive and powerful with it i hope you're moving forward with it i hope you're doing something great with it all right so we toast this moment um from there we move to our children our children's children unto infinity because tomorrow belongs to them so we toast them in advance so that they will be able to look back at us and toast us, right? Because we're putting our work in, putting the work in. So we lift up our glass and we say our shay. From there, we move to you. I lift my glass to you. Anything that you need me to toast, any energy that you need sent for issues in your life, I hope that you can feel the energy, right? Because I'm, I'm wishing the best for everybody to take take a moment of their time to tune in. I appreciate you, right? And I pray that I'm adding value to your life by doing what I'm doing. If not, I'm adding value to mine because the ancestors is working, man. I ask for a lesson and I get it, even if it's expensive. Because some of these lessons, I feel like I can't afford, but shit. I'm working it out, right? So we lift our glass and we say, I shake. Ashe, Ashe, I wish you peace, power, and 100 years. <clears throat> Not ambrosia, but it ain't that bad. That's cinnamon, man. Now, Dandelion, Dandelion one of these roots. And I, I got to sit down and take, one of these roots is sweet. It's got a strange sweetness to it. Cinnamon and whatever sweetness is in the, in this root is just incredible. I mean, it's like, it's pretty good, actually. So, yo, all right, family, I need to go and do my show. I still got to wash the dishes before I start my day. Um, 
So I want to thank every last one of y'all for tuning in, right? Um, I will start brewing probably today's Moja Ujima. I'll probably start brewing about um, Ujima. Um, hopefully be able to do something. At least get started. Kooji Chaka, Denata Kooji Chaka, Leah, get their tea starting to brew. But I will be brewing. So all those people that got orders coming or want to make orders, now's the time to start hollering. Um, uh, I got somebody I have to send some stuff to. And I'm still working out the process because I didn't have luck on the last time I sent some stuff out. Um, the heat. So I got to figure out, I'm trying to think about dry ice and it's a, it's a small shipment, but I'm trying to figure out how the best to be able to do it. So I'll figure it out. But yo fam, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm saying peace and thank you for joining me early in the morning. Peace. Alright, somebody out there, but I don't know who you are. I want to send some shots out, but whoever it is, peace. I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are, alright? I'm out.